In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. We've got another heat wave. Do I think it's a harp event? Yes, I do. New uh, Luce Maria revelations, they come a lot, and it takes a day or two for her to convert it into English. So I have a Google Translate page I got on my Chromebook that's an extension, a free, where you can translate the page. It really helps. She's got one up right now that's kind of a, you know, a good one, and I would recommend you doing that. Uh, Any way you can find a way to translate it is great. She gets one in like one or two weeks, so it's really neat, you know. It's kind of like saying the rosary, doing these exercises, uh, you know, same exercise, it provides stability for me in an unstable world, you know, to have a routine, I think, I think everyone needs a routine in their life, and the cross is always changing for us, we don't, uh, you never know what can happen in a day, you know, it just seems everything, the world is a mess, whatever, they've been saying that for years, uh, it's well, always nice to, to see stability in our country, in our government, in our world. To have that stability, we can't rely on the stability in the outside world. We never really could, although there's varying, been varying degrees of it, obviously. But when things get unstable, it's time to get excited instead of discouraged, because remember, the faith of the people in Poland increased during the persecution. And God is going to make his spotless bride. He's going to make her spotless. He's going to make the church so spotless and white and pure that we are going to, we would drop dead with joy when we see what's going on. The thing is, we only see a small piece of the puzzle. We only see the, the pain, the temporary pain. We are going through and our rights are getting revoked and blah, blah, blah. And it's all about self-love, really. We're not seeing the full picture. The full picture is that God's bride is going to emerge from this crucible of suffering, spotless like a diamond. And that includes us, unfortunately. We think, oh, well, everyone around needs to convert except me. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. And the priests are first to endorse that nonsense. So you have to get that out of your head right now. We're all, we all need to be purified. I know I do. I wish I had more love of Blessed Sacrament. I wish I had more love of Jesus and Mary. I wish I could love my enemies the way Jesus did on the cross. Believe me, you know, God, we cannot be, we, can, we cannot have the power of God unless God is utilizing us in some way with his power. And that usually comes in ways that people don't really realize that they're working directly through the Holy Ghost because it's sort of just like a complete union. So if that happens, people don't really know at the time. But uh, they can probably sense the power of something greater than them coming forth. But us of ourselves, we can't do anything. That's what St. Paul is, you know, you're nothing about God. That's why he says that, that phrase, Christ lives in me and I in him in him that's where he gets his strength from from jesus remember your weakness is your strength i always thought that even when i was in l.a playing for all these people millions and billions you know i knew i was so weak and just dust I even, I do remember that Psalm 101 or 102, you know, I am nothing, I'm like grass. I really, I really love that. Because I didn't feel like I had to be or do anything, you know? Your power is in your weakness. That's not a license to sin, though. Oh, I'm so weak, I, I have affairs all the time, so that's my strength. I'm not talking about that. Although God can use that for his glory by, you know, doing some crazy things like converting people, you know, that realize they don't want to be in those situations anymore. Like Father Don Calloway. from 
problem is, you know, like he was saying, our parents are these hippie generationers that think, well, I have a license to sin. I have an exemption from God not to obey the Ten Commandments because my life was hard. My parents were rough. Blah, blah, blah. My dad died when I was young. All this stuff. They give themselves excuses to cheat the system. <laughs> Well, God doesn't grant those excuses. The Ten Commandments are commanded. They're not optional. It's not the Ten Optionals. The Ten Options. It doesn't exist. It's commandments. big strong men and soldiers have their final judgment I mean they're like naked and and they're in the middle of outer space and God's going to judge them and they suddenly you know they suddenly see their true weakness and that's going to happen to these people too because there is a hell and they're you know dancing with the devil and just because they're your mom or dad or sister or brother doesn't excuse doesn't mean there's exempt them from hell, you know. Oh, my daughter's praying rosary for me every day. I can just live in a cesspool of sin my whole life. It doesn't matter. She's praying. That doesn't get you. That's not a get out of jail, get out of hell free card. You know, that's what we got to realize. Our lady, she's got children in hell because she's the mother of all. And she has to live with that every day. I mean, I'm sure she tried to save a lot of them, maybe more than any of us could. So we know that that's a total lie. But if we get to heaven, we'll praise the Lord for his just judgments. We won't worry about our relatives being in hell. I know that sounds horrible. We'll praise the Lord for his, because love of God is just so strong. And if, if God judged something, then it must be right. It must be. And so we praise the Lord. But we have to try to save them while they're in a soul and a body. They're a soul and body right now. They're totally able to be saved even in the next 30 seconds. It's just an act of the will. because you know our lady and jesus will never take me i just fell into sin so bad you know so i just gotta keep sinning i mean that's their mentality and you gotta think about that you know no god does not want you to keep saying go to hell i don't care how bad your sins are just fix fix yourself right now bam i'm <laughs> done i'm just gonna stop sinning bam you know, it's just the fiat, the yes to our Lord, the yes to Mary. You know, just do your yes and, and get over yourself and stop sinning, you know. I remember I had a boss once, she goes, well, I'm going to hell. It's like she didn't even care. She knew her life was bad and she just accepted that she was going the wrong way. And that is sad. That is sad. Especially, I think she was a fallaway Catholic. Look, a lot of these people end up in hell are the basements of hell. What a sad, sad situation. You just think you're going there, so who cares? You know? God did not make people to go to hell, okay? That's a human problem. Well, I'm going to hell anyway. Who cares? Eat, drink, and be merry. Like the priest was saying today. That's a philosophy. Eat, drink, and be merry. Because who cares? That is not. That is not our faith. Okay? And it's it seemed itself into the, you know, the church. That's why they have all their alcohol parties. Disclosed, disguised as wine and cheese socials, you know? And then the priest wonders why there's chaos in his church. Well, when you get everybody drunk, 
You know, that's where it says the factions, enmities, and murders, and all that comes out a lot of it out of these alcoholic parties. Look what happened with Herod and his party. It's like people don't learn from the past. That's one thing I learned in state school that was helpful. You know, if you don't learn from your past history, it's doomed to repeat itself. That's why I'm so vocal in repeating all these heresies going on in my family, all the kidnappings and stuff. If you don't change, history is doomed to repeat itself. Sending skills. It can take quite a long time to learn it. The thing is, we want it right away, you know. Oh, why isn't it in tune, you know, yet? I've been practicing this, you know. It's because it's just not, you know. Just give it a year, you know. You know, like perfectionist types, and you know, nothing's perfect except Our Lady. I mean, if we can do this to praise the Lord and just leave it as is, then fine. Because even if it's great today, it might not be so great tomorrow or later today. It's always changing, you know. It's never, it's never permanent because it's a human thing, you know.